Hey guys, I'm Wendy, and this is my home. Let me show you around. By the way, come here. This is Eloise, the Great Pyrenees. She's a year and a half, and she loves people, and she loves treats, too. The very first thing that you see whenever you walk in is this key holder. It's from Anthropology. We love it because we know where the keys are at at all times. I wanted to show you all this part of our kitchen. Our kitchen has a lot of really cool things, but one of my favorite things is the fact that every time someone comes over, we try to take a photo of them with Eloise and we just add it to our refrigerator. Not gonna lie, we did lose a couple of Polaroids along the year, but it's okay. If you're a true Texan, you love Whataburger. And on our bachelorette party, we went to a Whataburger to have our last meal before we came back. And one of the workers there asked me when my wedding date was, and she came back and she gifted us those numbers. When I got that gift, I got super emotional, and probably four other girls did too. We cried and then we laughed about it. I did wanna show you Matt's coffee set. I'm not really a coffee drinker. I'll only drink it whenever I really need the energy and I probably take one sip and I'm good. But in the mornings whenever Matt makes coffee and he actually wakes up earlier than me, which I would have never thought that he'd be waking up earlier than me. Um, it just feels so homey knowing that he just makes a coffee and the whole apartment smells really good. And I won't drink it, but that's fine because I don't want it. We got this dish caddy maybe a couple months ago. I made it a ceramics class that Matt and I took and honestly it wasn't really supposed to be a dish caddy. It was supposed to be a charcuterie board. But one of our friends came over and they put all of our dish needs on top of the dish caddy and guess what? That's what we use it now for. Our dining room table is from Anthropology, and it was one of our first purchases whenever we got engaged. So we bought it knowing that we wanted to have a neutral and warm tones around the apartment, and honestly, this fit it. We bought the chairs separately, and it's also from Anthropology. kind of whenever the Rattan stage was kind of becoming cool. So we got them as soon as we saw them on the website, and honestly, I have no regrets. I want to keep them forever. The rug, we got it from West Elm. And it's kind of funny because it took us forever to find a rug. Unfortunately, our um, unintended home decor, AKA Eloise, decided to do her own decorations on it. And we kind of have some holes and some accidents on there. So we moved it from the living room and we put it under the dining room table. Kind of worked out, I think. Our shelf is from Ikea. We have a lot of fun memories that live up here. Like one of them was the Dundies. We went to a place where they had an office trivia and we won. Honestly, we won by a landslide. They didn't even finish the questions and we already had the answer. And when Matt, Matt, my husband, decided to get the award, his speech was, I declare bankruptcy! The floral frame is actually the wedding bouquet that my florist decided to dry up and put up in a frame. I just love looking at it, it's gonna last forever and I know we're gonna just take it everywhere we go. Our bar cart is actually from Facebook Marketplace. We don't know where it originally is from, but I'm really glad that we got it. Although it was intentionally made to be a bar cart, it's slowly transforming it to be a plant cart, which is pretty cool. Our bench is from Urban Outfitters. We actually got it for a photo shoot that Matt was doing. We were probably just gonna try to sell it to someone, but I accidentally put it here. We loved how it helped break up the dining room area and our living room, so we kept it. We got this couch from Article, and it's kind of funny because we were couchless for a couple of months. We knew we wanted to get a couch that was something that we love and something that would last a little bit longer than a temporary couch. Um, so. We put up a poll on Instagram and we asked people what they thought of different couches that we were considering. This was one of the top two. It was my top. So I'm really glad that we ended up deciding on getting this one. Our frames are from Target and all the photos were intentionally picked out from either trips that we took together or obviously from our wedding. Our plant corner is basically where most of the sun hits. So the plants that need the most light kind of just are shoved over here. Don't judge my fiddle. This was my first plant ever, and it's not doing so well, but it's okay, I guess, right? It'll survive. I'll give it sometimes, I give it a little wiggle, making sure that 
it's still alive. The Birds of Paradise is actually from my mom's front yard. She gave me one of the plant's offsprings right before the winter storm hit. And actually that plant died from the winter storm. It did not survive the winter storm. And luckily this one did. So when she starts to have any offsprings, I'm gonna be sure to give one back to my mom. We love our coffee table and rug from Ikea. It was actually one of the last ones in stock. We had to actually pick it up from a distribution center somewhere in the middle of Houston. It was kind of scary, but worth it. This Toshin book is a really good conversation piece, and we actually got it from a vacation that we took from Miami. This was one of the perfect books because Matt's a photographer, and it looks really good in our living room. I got this Monstera plant from a pop-up shop. If you see any burnt leaves, don't judge me. I'm a new plant parent. I took my plants out to what I thought was getting a nice sun bathe, but really they got nice and crispy, so that's what happened. Our credenza is from Urban Outfitters, and so is a record player. We decided to just add any kind of nice touches, cameras, vintage cameras, books, records. I was so against having sound bars. I just didn't want to set it up. I didn't want to deal with it. I don't want to hear anything from around the room. But when Matt and I got married, I did gift it to him because I love him. So here we are. I have a sound bar and not gonna lie, I love it. Most of our candles are gonna be from Anthropology, from Homesick, from Urban Outfitters. So if you need any candle help, I'm your girl. Our accent chair is from Anthropology. It was actually our office chair from our old home, but when we moved, we accidentally left it here in this corner and we loved how it looked. And honestly, it gives a really good pop to our living room. So we kept it here. And every once in a while, we'll get a book. We'll come just sit here when, it's, when the sun is setting or when we just wanna relax. So this is our perfect relaxing corner. You should come sit on it. One of the reasons why we loved this apartment was because we got this amazing balcony. We got an amazing view. We got a reason to have dinner outside and watch the sunset. And sometimes I just come outside when it's not too hot and I work from here. Don't mind our Christmas cactus. We bought it for Christmas. It was our Christmas tree and then we had no idea what to do with it. Also, don't mind my dying plant. Just don't even try to look at it. Let me take you to the room. Actually, before we go into the room, I wanted to show you our Houston, Texas flag. I wonder where we're from. Just kidding. We actually put this flag there because we wanted to hide the thermostat whenever some guests came. And we saw it there, we decided we really liked it. So that's where it lives now. And welcome to our room. Our bedroom set is from Anthropology. I saw it on the website and we knew we loved neutral to tones and we wanted to keep white colors throughout our bedroom set and look. So I saw it online and I snatched it up. Our dresser is mostly, not gonna lie, it's my dresser with a little bit of accents of matte. So I always pull out items that are jewelry and accessories that are in trend, in style, and things that I just really like the most that I know I'm just gonna be grabbing and going. And that includes hair pieces, it includes earrings or watches. And this box is actually from our wedding too. We decided to put all of our envelope gifts here and we knew we were just gonna keep it as a home decor. So there it is, we love it so much. I love to just pull pieces from my closet and like to keep them in sight. I like to get items that are in style, new items, items that are in season. So I pull them out and I just add them to this rack. And the rack's from Wayfair. I'll usually pick all my outfits for the rest of the week and I put them here. Most of the themes are kind of consistent. I love florals, I love yellow, I love gingham. So you'll usually see that on this rack. This is our unorganized shelf. Most of thing, the things that you'll see here are Matt's gear, my gear, snap, I have gear. Matt's backpack, our throw, things like that. We really love a good view here, as you can tell. So usually when we go to sleep, we leave this window open and we know that whenever it's six or seven, the light just hits us. Not too bad though. It's a nice soft glow. These are mostly plants that I have propagated or have come out of another mother plant. So I'm a pretty proud plant parent. If you haven't realized, I have probably around over 30 plants and counting. We love a really good plant wall here and we created one here over our bed. 
It's filled with air plants, dried plants, and plants that we picked up from the grocery store. I am just a little bit obsessed with mirrors. If I find a mirror that I like, I'm probably gonna buy it. So it took us some time to find the perfect full-length mirror. We went to different stores. We searched probably a couple of months and we found this one from Crate and Barrel. You see this mirror here? It's not really placed in an ideal location, but just like mom, Eloise loves a good mirror. We noticed that she started staring at herself in the mirror just out of nowhere, and we decided, hey, Eloise deserves a mirror too, right? Another reason why I really love this apartment is because it actually has a bath and a shower separately. I really do love to have a nice bath whenever I'm trying to relax or whenever I'm just, I had a long day. So for the most part, I turn on a Netflix show and I just relax for about an hour. And I'm pretty much on do not disturb mode from there. I have to talk about my shampoos. One of the craziest things that I have accomplished was making my husband love Kevin Murphy shampoos. I love a good hair product and I really look into what I'm gonna be using for my hair and Kevin Murphy is one of them. Shout out Olaplex too. We love dry plants here and we love flowers as well. So what you'll see around this apartment is just accents of different colors and different plants. I think we buy them every other week just to make sure that the plants are fresh. I like to keep our countertops clean and clear so I usually keep the things that we know we're gonna be using daily up here, which is mostly moisturizers and toners. Let me show you our closet. We love this closet because it's so big that it can fit all of my clothes here. And I used to be a personal stylist and of course I still love style and I still love shopping. So most of the space is filled with my stuff. So if it were up to me, this whole closet would be filled with my things. This is our half bath. We made sure to make it cozy by adding a candle from Anthropology. Our soap is from Lalabo, and we got some artwork from San Francisco. We decided to put this artwork here just because it was kind of funny, but also these people are really famous. They've had some struggles and guess what? They still made it. So if they can make it, you can make it. end of our home tour. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it go ahead and give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe.